Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, welcome to my Thursday morning. Um, I am, again, overwhelmed by the love of mix. Um, I am going to do a painting tonight, obviously with all mix, but I have a story to tell you about that while I'm uh, showing you the painting that I'm doing. Um, we're trying to get it out there to you guys as fast as we can, but, you know, there's just the two of us, so just be patient. We're, we're getting there. Um, thank you so much. And I've got to show you the results of last week's painting because it really is beautiful. The shimmer... The transparency, the dark colors with the metallics. This is what my brain was thinking about when it said, put these colors together. So, beautiful painting. It dried really nice. I'm super excited about it. So, I have a few techniques I'm going to do tonight, and I also have a new canvas that I'm trying for the first time. Um, Mina Villegas said, hey, Krista, you've got to go on to Blick because they have a huge canvas sale. So I got super excited when they had these two by three eight side canvases. Wait until I bring you down because this canvas is fantastic. Um, so let's get down to the canvas and get this painting started. My husband's gonna tilt us. All right, so I came across the very widely loved split cups. And a friend of mine on Facebook, Brian Ward, um, his little spontaneous creations has made split cups. And I got to tell you, I tried it. I loved my outcome. Um, advice, do not ever clean them with hot water because the result of a hot water cleaning makes it warp. It's still usable. It still wants to hold the paint and just no hot water because it will make it warp. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a, a straight pour, but because my canvas is so big, it's a 24 by 24 super deep edge. I mean, this canvas is like, are you kidding me? Super deep. Thank you, Mina Villegas, for the heads up on these. Um, but here's my funny story. So when you order these from Brian Ward, he has them in a set where you get a set of three split cups. One has two, one has four, this one has six vessels. And it also came with a strainer for Floetrol. Well, because y'all know I don't use Floetrol, um, he offered me a pedal tool. So I wanna play with this pedal tool because I haven't done it yet. Um, it looks fun, it's got the little holes, the little pedals. I think I'm gonna do the center of my pour with this. Um, I'm gonna start with a straight pour, then I think I'm gonna use this to get it to twist. And if I like the center, I'm not gonna use this. If I'm not a big fan of the center, I'm gonna try this in the middle. But um, yeah, so this is a fun play day. So I've got my 24 by 24, two and three quarter inch heavy duty museum profile canvas pretty awesome. So the colors I'm using today, I'm going to start with, obviously, my very favorite. I'm using 
Decor Americana, 24K, yum. I am also using Amsterdam's Turquoise Green, but I wanted it to go a little bit deeper. So what I ended up putting in is the Art Alchemy, the blue pink, and it does that beautiful little shift. And the color came out pretty cool. And then I use one of my favorites, the Permanent Red and Violet Amsterdam. And then I've got the Amsterdam Pearl Blue. And because I didn't want it to just be pearl blue, I added a little bit of the Art Alchemy Opal Magic, the Teal Blue, just to give it a little bit of oomph and the color came out really nice. And then I have Amsterdam Prussian Blue, and I didn't want it to be this dark. So I added a little bit of the Art Alchemy Blue Violet, and they're like a color shift. So it made it so it wasn't so blue. Um, all right, so let's get this cup started. I'm gonna start with a 16 ounce cup and I have a feeling I'm gonna need more paint. I mean, obviously I'm gonna need more paint because this is a huge canvas. Um, but let's get this cup layered up and let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to start with this beautiful pearl blue in the middle. Just have a little layer of that and then I'll put this green blue and then I think I'll do the Prussian blue with the Art Alchemy mix. Then I'll add my gold. And my husband keeps telling me, go easy on the pink. So I'm gonna go easy on the pink, just a little bit. See how I just went a little bit? And then I'm gonna go back into, let's make a purple. Why not, right? We'll make a blue-green. Let's hope that that combines okay. And the Prussian with our alchemy. With the pearl blue with the art alchemy. And put some gold on top of that. And my paints are super thick today. A little bit of pink, my husband tells me. A little bit, a little bit. Because he said the last time I used it, it took over. Um, then I think I'm going to put some white in. If I can get my bottle open. Because it's just going to be on the outside. Because whatever I put... And the top here is going to be my outside, no matter how many times I fill up a cup. So I'm gonna add some white. And then I'll do some gold. This canvas, I gotta tell you, when it showed up and I unpacked it, it was like a drum the second out of the package. I didn't have to spray the back of it, make it tighter. I didn't have to do any of those things that you normally would have to do. So here's my cup. I'm gonna set these cups over here just to get them out of the way because Monster Canvas I need a bigger table like Mina because 
my table cannot hold my camera and all of this canvas at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a puddle in the middle. Just a little one. Set that off to the side. And I'm just gonna do a straight pour with a twist. All right, let's go. I'm watching that pink come out. My husband's gonna be like, okay, too much pink. Gotta keep twisting. Love when it twists. Okay, not a fan of my center. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna catch this. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to worry about catching it because I'm just gonna pour something over it anyways. All right, so I've been playing with the other one. Wow, there's some cool stuff going on in here. So because I've been playing with the other one, um, I do know that um, I'm going to be able to create some awesome stuff with this. Okay, so we're gonna fill up the chambers. And I've found that if you layer the chambers, it's cool. It's super cool if you layer the chambers. I'm gonna do every other one with this color on the bottom. And that's enough of that. And then I think I'm gonna do every other color with the pearl. Every other chamber, I should say. And then you have to think in your head, how am I going to make these colors layer well together? So I think I'm going to put, my husband's gonna kill me because there's so much pink going on in here already. I'm just gonna put a little layer of pink on top of my pearl in each chamber. Okay. And then I'm going to, oh, I almost dropped that. The Prussian on top of the green blue. Because why not? We're just playing with paint right, right now. Testing it out. Because split cups, why do they just have to have a color a piece? Why can't you layer them? And then what I think I'm gonna do, because I've got all my colors in there except for my gold, I'm going to just drizzle my gold over all of them. I'm just gonna make it just, you know, why not? Nobody's the boss of this canvas, right? So we'll put some in there, make them kind of even, drizzle it in here. It's all gonna come out the same anyways. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I'll take that. And I like what's going on here, so I'm thinking, so I'm not pushing it over. I think I'm, let me set this down. I'm thinking because I really love what's going on right here, I'm gonna put my flow extender on now. So I don't lose that. Because when I put on more paint, it's just gonna push it out. And I would hate for it to roll over itself. Okay. 
So now I am going to, I don't know how to hold this because it's so big. All right, I'm gonna pour right into here out of this split cup. twist it oh y'all I may wreck this because I don't think that what I did was a good idea because we'll see when we get down to the center And there's my dog. All right. Let me travel it a little bit and I'm gonna make it stop. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna wreck it. Who knew I was gonna say that because I don't really like wrecking my pores. Um, okay, so I've got some beautiful stripey cells going on in here that I don't really want to mess with. So I'm just gonna kind of bring it in through here. Bring it this way. And I'm gonna start here before those cells and bring it that way. Okay. I'm sure I'm not gonna get the same, oh my God, I can't believe you stretched it as I did last time because the last time I wrecked it, y'all were shocked. <laughs> So I'm going to put a flow extender around the outside. Uh, da -da. This canvas is huge. I was kind of overwhelmed by dog hairs on my canvas. Okay. So I'm going to take my omelet turner. And I'm going to stretch that out or spread that out. So I don't know while I'm doing this, I don't know who is all a hockey fan out there, but I am a very proud hockey fan today. My Dallas Stars are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Yay, Dallas Stars. So proud of y'all. Um, like I said before, I had minor league seats in Austin to go and see, but now the players that I used to watch are playing for the Dallas Stars, and it's very exciting to watch them actually go for the big cup. You know, the Calder Cup is a big deal, but definitely not as big as a Stanley Cup. Proud of them. Good job, stars. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set that down. I decided not to use this because I thought my paint was too thick for it. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna to touch my corner of my canvas, of course. And we're gonna stretch this out. Okay, so I love the little stripey cells that are up here. And I love this little action that's going on down here. So I don't know if I have enough paint even on this canvas. So 
We're fixing to find out. Let's get this a tilt. All right, I just want to catch it on the... Oh, 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 oh. Are we there? Are we there? I don't want to lose a whole bunch of those cells. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it back. And I just realized I did not torch this thing, so we're going to do that because I am watching a million bubbles. bubbles. Alright, so now that I've got my paint that way, to try to get it down to this corner because the weight of my paint is kind of on that side already. There's so many cool things going on on that edge. I'm going to try to walk it because Okay. So we're going to bring it back from there. Oh, Lord, I've got boys and a dog in the house right now. And now my husband. It's like, it's like a show in here today. A Ringling Brothers show. Okay, then we're gonna take it down this way. Okay, this is a show and y'all, why not play, right? You can always play with paint. Even on a ginormous canvas because even this ginormous canvas you can paint over it if you don't like it paint over it all right i got one more corner to go uh, let's turn it around this way and i'm going to take it this way because the weight of my paint is already down that side Almost there. I don't know if you can see, but we're almost there. And all right, we made it. What is that? Okay, so then we're going to bring it back. Um, okay. So we are going to take it down to this corner.
stretch this out up here at the top because it is super beautiful. walking it because evidently I touched it earlier I wanted that to go away okay so now I'm going to stretch it just to get it to some sort of Some sort of composition here. So my main goal was to get this over here stretched out on my left. I think I'm going to take it down to this corner closest to you. Stretch that out. I've got some weird white cells down there that I'm not a big fan of. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if they mixed with the gold and decided to try to make cells without having any gold in them. Okay, they're gone. And now I have a super cool corner that I can't wait to show you on the close up. Okay. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it right here like this. I'm definitely gonna take my gloves off because I'm a dripping mess. I don't know how Mina does it. She must have the arms of Hercules because that canvas was super heavy. All right, I'm gonna touch this corner here because it's just white right now. On this side. Just feed it on. And these edges, they're definitely, you definitely have to plan for these edges because these edges are very deep. Okay. I'm getting the corner that y'all can't see. I'm coming over to this corner. I don't know if you can see this one anymore either. I've moved this canvas so much, I don't even know if I'm in the screen anymore. There's definitely something in my paint right there. I'm gonna make that go away. I noticed something when I was pouring my art alchemy out that there was something in there, but I didn't dare strain it just to prove it. Okay. So, this is a done piece. I'm going to bring y'all down so you can see, because right here, you got to see it. All right, let's bring you down. Sorry that this video was so extra long. All right, look at that. It looks like electricity. And then the awesome transparency right here. 
This is a much better corner up here than what was there before. Got these awesome lines where I wrecked it. Now we got a cool little corner up here. Got some cool cells popping up. And let's bring you down. Look at that. Super cool. Look at the transparency right there. Woo! Gorgeous. We've got some awesome cells and transparency going on right there. All right, and then this is the last corner. Right here. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me again. Sorry that it was so long, but... I think it was well worth it. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye.